Oh, okay. Guess that means it's recording. Hmm. Right. Guess that means it's recording now. Um. So. Uh, this is how to make a, you know, kind of like a Lego mix with normal. This one I'm just gonna make for a prop. I'm gonna use a wood, wooden uh, chopstick that I get a lot. I yes, I know how to use chopsticks. I use them all the time. So I'll bring them home with me, and then uh, and I already drew the line right here. Uh, let's see. This is with my cell phone. Big twist, I know. Um, so uh, then you're just you're just gonna need this. Um, I got this little pumpkin carving tool. No, it's not. Um, Halloween time quite yet, but uh, I got this from last year. Um, small wrench or the size wrench or needle pliers or something like that. Anyway, the point is you're going to need pliers. And then one of these little hairpins. I already bent it. But, uh, or a piece of metal or anything. And of course, Legos. Now, I just randomly put this together. So we have two long three stud from this way and then I don't know about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stud down ways. Uh, and I just put that together with two pieces about that long. Um it really doesn't matter. You could use a whole bunch of two pieces. You could have used two <laughs> two long pieces like I did. Or uh, anyways, the point is, then you put down uh, a, a whole bunch of smooths until about the end of your thing right there, and just uh, put around the edges and my chopstick just like that. So, and it won't wiggle around whenever I cover it or anything, I already made sure. And then you're just going to need a rubber band of some sort. It doesn't really matter how long it is, but it does matter how short it is. As long as it's over, over the, I, I don't know how long this is, but it's simply just a rubber band, just buy a couple packets of rubber bands. See which one you think you would prefer. And I, I draw help if I just want to call it lots of things. Yes, those are pink Legos from my little sister's Lego set. But uh she doesn't use them so I got and it was in my Lego box, so no I'm not a huge Lego fan. Like a whole bunch of people. I'm okay. Um I like Legos, and I like to make things out of Legos, if that's what you're asking, yes. And, uh, so, basically you're just going to bend the tip of it like that, and, um, essentially use some really thin string like this. Um, I use it for survival fishing line. Yes, I'm also Texas, I'm also Ranger Survival. I'm also alias male, just normal alias male, uh, A-L-I-E-S-M-A-L-E, -E. that was my first account on YouTube, and then it's this one, which quite frankly, it's because, because I can't change uh, any accounts on my phone, or, you know what, I, I might just be publishing this on my A-L-E-S, alias male, just plain alias male, instead of alias male, one, two, three, at gmail.com, Sheesh, um, but, yeah, um, that's the way you're going to make it at first. Point is, as long as you have enough Lego to extend from a little bit past your, you know, from about, uh, from a little past here, a little past your elbow line, I'll show you, like that. As long as it's like that and you can still bend your elbow quite a distance, I can bend my elbow all the way 
Um, and then go bang your wrist, forward and back quite a distance. Then you're good. And no, this isn't a ring that I used on a previous build of an Assassin's Creed Infinity Blade. I'm also making a video uh, soon here, really, really soon here, um, on a actual, on a actual metal Assassin's Creed Infinity Blade. But no, this isn't a, a ring from my pre any previous progress because I don't do this very often. I just think. Yeah, I think. I put it down on paper and that's about all I do. I don't really get to make insane this unless I really, really want to and this is one of the things where I really, really want to do this. Um, <clears throat> I also made a little thing here. Um, so... There's a, yeah, that's all you need, essentially. And then, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to, I uh, already made the mark where it touches from my wrist to where I want it. I'm doing all tie years, so it's a lot shorter, about that long, literally. Uh, but Etios is, uh, is, like, that long. And it has a little cover over it, but Altair's doesn't have a cover over it. And then, yes, I did study about all this by playing the video game. I paused it, turned so this around on it, on the cover. Uh, I looked around for a cover, and no cover. I popped it out and pulled it back in a whole lot. And I noticed that there is no ring, that I'm actually going to use a ring. So I'm just putting this all together. Uh, with as much effort as I can. Uh, the ring is not going to be on my thumb, so I don't have to move my thumb until I... I don't have to move my thumb until I unlock it. And the locking mechanism is going to be... Uh, is going to be the metal piece right here. And when it, I learned this from another YouTube person, and whenever... Um, you see there will be a notch on this, and whenever I pull the ring back, this pulls back, and, uh, of course it's going to be a lot better than it is right now, but anyways, it pulls back, and then it'll come back in, so it's like, uh, it's like an unlocking forward slash locking mechanism. So it does both of those things. Um, so it comes out and comes back in the blade. We'll be able to go just like the video game, go chunk and chunk. Uh, I noticed that Altair, he has it on this hand, right? So I'm going to have it on that same hand. And he kind of, whenever he runs, he kind of goes sideways. And he has his wrist out like this whenever he runs, so I noticed that there wouldn't be a ring on any of these fingers. I didn't look at the thumb, but on the because the thumb doesn't really move whenever he's running. So I'm gonna use by thrust, like I'm gonna have it like this, and I can you know just push it out like that, just like he does in the video game. Because I noticed that his arm, his arm, all my years my arms. It moves from this, like it goes up, he goes up about this much, um, and then pushes back down, so he goes like, like that, and it's enough for us that just so happens to open the blade. And, um, this is actually a very thick rubber band, and I'm, I'm not sure if it's strong or not, but I hope it's not. I noticed that if you do this, it still comes out pretty good. I'm holding the rubber band. I'm not using much muscle, so it shouldn't shouldn't really uh, not come out the way I want it to. Uh, but I could also use a thin, less uh, longer rubber band. But I suggest using springs because rubber bands they tend to break. Yeah. Um, so. Right now, all I did was build, put this together. I'm pretty sure I just told you at the beginning, so I'll tell you again. Just two of these plates, or you could use one. 
put them together, or if it's one you don't even have to put them together, uh, leave about uh, that much space. Um, as you can see, it's about the size of a 2x4, and turn it sideways, and hopefully that's as much space as you have. And then I'll show you the rest as I go along. So, uh, but then put smooth sides all the way down, almost all the way down. Still leave that much space and cover the sides so that it won't fall sideways or, or fall out or anything. And so that's all we're going to do for now. And then I'm just going to use this little pumping cutter to saw where I already drew, I drew from my wrist to I want, where I want the blade to be. Now, this is not SEO, but you can make SEO uh, if you want. Okay, so this is all tie years, so it only goes about this much past. Doesn't go like that. All tie years doesn't go that far out. All tie years goes about this much far out. And I notice whenever he does this, it doesn't come a whole lot out like Ezio's. Ezio's comes way out. Ezio's, whenever you're playing the video game, whenever he stops with the Assassin's Creed blade, you can still see it through the other person's, through the body. With all tie ears, you can't see it. It's like concealed to where it's about halfway through their body. So, it's like this. Okay? Uh, I'm making all tie ears. You don't have to if you don't want to. I noticed that on SEO, he can grab the blade, and go every which way, and that's why it was longer, so that he can actually grab it and still go in, or go sideways, or anyways. Point is, he grabs it, so they have a little cover. It's like the three drawer slide come out like that. Uh, I'm just gonna do what I need to do, and. I drew a line where I wanted it to be, and I'm going to saw on that line. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera.